What is the top answer to this family feud question? Name a quality like loyalty that has all but disappeared from our society. If you said the number one answer is honesty, you hit the bullseye. Introducing our returning champions, the Blackman family, ready for action. Playing against the challengers, the Morphy family. On your marks, let's start the new Family Feud. Here's the star of Family Feud, Ray Cohn. Thank you very much, my friends. Hello to the Blackmen. Welcome to the Morphy family. Welcome to the Family Feud Challenge, where we have two great families, as you know, ready to battle it out for the chance to win up to $20,000 right here on this stage. So let us get started and meet the Blackmans, our returning champions. Lenny, nice to see you for the third time. You are $5,390 wealthier. Not bad at all. Not bad. But you could be over $40,000. Maybe today you'll do it. Tell everyone who you brought. Um, this is my wife, Pam. Yes. My mother, Lillian. Hi. My father, Alfred. Welcome and my back. cousin, Patricia. Very nice to see you, Chaps. We will place $5,000 into your bank. The minimum amount of money you could play for in Fast Money if you're still the champions once you face the Morphe family. Sarah, hi. Hey, how are you? I'm great. Now, where is the Morphe family from? Pasadena. Pasadena, California, you yeah. know one of my favorite places. Do you go to the Ice House there, a comedy club? Yeah. Probably not. I, I always work the big rooms. Tell everyone who you brought with you. My handsome husband, Bob. Hi, Ray. Yes, hi. My quick thinking cousin, Chris. Well, we'll be the judge of that. My tall cousin, Matthew. Certainly. Right? And my adorable cousin, Tim. Welcome. We put $5,000 into the bank of the family from Pasadena. The least you could play for. I love to play the bullseye game to find out the most you could play for. Here you go, Lenny. Come on, Sarah. Here's where you build your own bank, and all that counts are the number one answers. This first question was asked of 100 people and could add $1,000 to your bank. Name something that decays. Sarah. Teeth. Could teeth be number one? Bullseye! $6,000 in the Morphy family bank. $2,000 the value of this single question. Name someone or something that kids copy. Pam. Their parents. Do you turn $5,000 into seven with parents? Bullseye! $7,000 in the Blackman family bank. This question is worth $3,000 if you have the quickest hand and the number one answer. Name something you turn off before you leave home for the day. Chris. The lights. Are lights the bullseye? Here's your chance, Lillian. Something you turn off before you leave home for the day. Did she say it in time? Okay. What would have given you $3,000? I think stove. Show me the bull. There it is. We missed that one. This question worth $4,000. Only way to make up for missing $3,000. Do you have the bullseye answer to this? Name something that London is famous for. Matt? The London Bridge. Is the London Bridge the bullseye? For four where are you from, Alfred? London, England. Yeah. Something, stay right here. Something that London is famous for. It's history. Okay, is history the bullseye? I'm from Cincinnati, and I would say the Queen. Let me see, what is the bullseye? Big Ben, what do we know? Here we go. We don't know enough of London. Come on, Patricia. Come on, Tim. This question can make up for it with five thousand more dollars going to one family's bank. Do you know number one? Name something that you hear a lifeguard shouting at a pool. Tim, get out of the water. Get out of the water for the bullseye. 
Patricia, listen carefully. You'll pick up $5,000 if you know the bullseye. Something that you hear a lifeguard shouting at a pool. Why do I feel I'm up here alone on this show? <laughs> this would have added $5,000. No running. Right now we have $6,000 in the Morphy Family Bank, and that's darn good. We've got the Blackmans wanting to play for the $7,000 they built, and we'll be right back to play the feud so that we can see who will play fast money for the money in their bank. Stay tuned. It's going to get better. You know, before we start this first question, I want you to know that all next week on The Feud, we have the cast of the TV series Nurses playing against five real-life nurses right here on the show. So stay tuned for that. Keep watching right now so you won't be sick. The first family to reach 300 points will win this game and go on to play Fast Money for a chance to win their bankroll. The Morphy family, $6,000 in their bank. The Blackmans have built $7,000 in their bank. Most importantly, like the state champion so that you could come back and win hundreds of thousands of dollars. First question. Top five answers are on the board to a question that we ask 100 married women. You try to give me the most popular answer, but remember, 100 married women. Name something your husband says to you every day. Sarah. I love you. Let me see if I love you made our survey. You think of the steal over there, Lenny. Bob? She said you... Yeah, how are you doing? Good to have Good. you here. Hundred married women responded. Name something your husband says to you every day. Don't be late. Mary, okay, your husband says don't be late. <laughs> Do you say that, Bob? I say that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Keep in mind, don't get it mixed up here, Chris. It's 100 married women answered something that their husbands say to them every day. Ray, I, I got to go with what's for dinner. What's hey. for hey. dinner? Hey. 75 points, Matt. What do you think, pal? You say that question one more time? You bet. 100 married women, something your husband says to you every day. Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh... Stalling, will, you, you? will you take the kids to school? Will you take the kids to school? Yeah, yeah I gotta go with it. You think of a steal, Blackmans. That's too... Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Tim, 100 married women. Husband says to them every day. I'll see you tonight when I get home from work. Let me see. I'll see you tonight when... I get home from work. Do the Blackmans know one of the three answers can steal the first bank? Help out. Hundred married women. Husband says to you every day. Um, Don't have to have anything. Alfred, quickly. Nothing. Lillian, anything. I'll call you. Okay. That's what call you... me. Say, call me. Call me. Call Before me. you speak, Lenny, let me read the question. The A-team was of no help to you. Hundred married women. Name something your husband says to you every day. Three answers. Big steal. Uh, I've got to go on my own and say... Good morning. All right, Lenny. He, he goes on his own. Does he do it by saying good morning? He did it. Very nice, Lenny. Morgan family, you might have gotten the first bank if you'd said things like number four. A husband says every day. How was your day? I'm sure you gentlemen do that all the time at home. And number five. Husbands always say, hi, I'm home. And hi, we're coming right back after these important messages to find out who will be called the champions and play fast money. Stay tuned. I'm the only one that's not there. Good job, good job. You had them. Right now, the Blackman family, 81 points. The Morphys, zero. It's time for another face-off. Here we go. We are doubling the point value on this question. Right now, the Morphy family needs to get into the game. You have $6,000 bank. You've been here before, Pam. You'll want to stay champs. We ask 100 people this question and place the top four answers on the board. Put your thinking caps on. 
Listen carefully. Name something Superman is afraid of. Kryptonite. Uh, of what? Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Oh, it can take him down. Let me see if Kryptonite is there. Seventy-eight people said Kryptonite. The point value is doubled. This is amazing. Now keep the chatter down and just think of a steal. Everybody has an opinion. Chris, something Superman is afraid of. Gotta go with uh, the bad guys. Let yeah. me see the bad guy. Uh, not on the survey. Matt, who? Something Superman is afraid of. The only thing I think of is that he can't see through metal. Oh, he can see through metal. He can. Okay, I'm going something else. Well, you know, I'm going to say it. I'm just trying to <laughs> I understand. I'm trying to teach because I love Superman. You said that he could not see through metal. He's not afraid of it, but... Tim, I know what he would be afraid of. What do you think? What about the guy Lex Luthor, which was his arch enemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name something Superman is afraid of. Lex Luthor. Two strikes, think of a steal. All right, Sarah, come on. What do 100 people say? I think Superman might be a little scared of Lois Lane. Ooh. She might find him out. She yeah. might find him out. Say, Clark, I bought you some contacts. <laughs> Let me see. Lois Lane. Yeah. Yes, he is afraid of her. Yeah. Come on, Bob. All right. Superman is afraid of. He doesn't. He's afraid of, of someone finding out his identity. It's it really makes a lot of sense. Yeah. If it's there, it's a clean sweep, and you got the lead. Is he afraid of people finding out his identity? Well, you got it. We have 192 to 81 as we go with another face-off. Champions, let's go right now. Come on. Either team. Lillian, are you ready? Do you realize the point value's tripled now, and either team can win? It's up to you to take it for your family and the $7,000 in your bank. Top five answers are on that board. We ask 100 average Americans to name an invention. Chris? Gotta go with a wheel. Did wheel make our survey? Yeah. Don't say anything. Lillian, 100 people answered name an invention. Not in time. You th go back with your family and think of a steal. You can... Oh, I'm sorry. Nobody got it. I'm all confused. Stay right back here, Chris. I'm a little amazed that no one knows this. And Lillian, I hate to ask, but would you mind stepping back over here? Because we're not stopping till we find some, a name and invention. Matt? I'm going to say the light bulb. Yeah. Perhaps the light bulb. Don't move. It even gets more complicated. Alfred, what is the number one most popular invention? Uh, the steam engine. Is the steam engine number one? Think of a steal, you can win with it. Wow. Why do I feel totally out of control? You gave that answer, didn't you, yes, Matt? Yes, I do. Tim, it's your turn or I'll get physical. Name and invention. About the airplane. Yeah. Perhaps the airplane. <laughs> Triple valued question. The number one answer is there. 100 people answered. Name and invention. The telephone. Yes. Show me the telephone. Yeah. Forty-five people said it. I, the team, could win. Bob, an invention. Computer. Maybe oh. you're rolling with computer. Oh. Fine answer, but it is not on our survey. Three answers remain. Think of a steal. You could win with the right steal. Chris? Electricity? Are you still alive with electricity? No! I want you to know that if you can give me the appropriate steal, you'll get 210 points, plus the value of the steal tripled, which could win the game. Radio. Radio. Alfred? That's okay. Penicillin. Penicillin. Television. Television, radio, penicillin. Now, Television. before you answer, Lenny... You may go on your own. Tell him what you really, really think. You have $7,000. Three answers remain. What are you going to do? 
I'm going to go with television. And a fine day it was. And who invented television? Does anybody know? Philo T. Farnsworth. He invented Philco Corporation and he invented it when he was 14 years old. And if it's there, it has won you this game. Television! over here to the Morphy family for a second and say you had a chance to win the game on a what seems to be a pretty simple question. Let's see the answers that would have won it for you. Name and invention. Crowd, do you know number three? I hear car. I hear car. Let me see number three. Cotton gin. And number five. Automobile. Those would have kept you going. I tell you, we love your family. We thank you for coming on the show. And we have a very nice gift for you. And here's Gene Wood to tell you what it is. Some of our party contestants will receive an answering machine and Joe Vaughn, white must for men. All the power, but not overpowering. Subtle, easygoing, unmistakably male. Joe Vaughn, white must for men. Back to Ray. Thank you, Gene. I need two players right now for seven thousand dollars. Who's first? Come on, Patricia, with me. We're coming right back to play fast money with our champions, the Blackmans, against that big board, a little man, right after this. The Blackmans, seven thousand dollars. They are going for with fifteen seconds on the clock, please. Good luck, Patricia. We ask one hundred people these five questions. Which magazine would you hate for your child to pick up at a newsstand? Playboy. An occupation that deals with the ocean. Uh, oceanography. How many times per day you open the refrigerator door? Twenty. Something kids love to eat at the circus. Popcorn. A book that lists things alphabetically. The uh, dictionary. Turn around. The family is behind you. Which magazine would you hate for your child to pick up at a newsstand? You thought the survey said... Playboy. Survey said... An occupation that deals with the ocean. How'd you do with oceanography? Survey said 30. How many times per day you open the refrigerator door? Your choice. 20 times a day. Show me fat. Survey said 21. What do I know? Over 100. Kids love to eat at the circus. Popcorn survey said. Yes, 21. A book that lists things alphabetically. You have done quite nicely. You chose the dictionary. Survey said. 54. Back to your family. You are only 19 from $7,000. Huh? Lindy, I'll tell you what. You need 19 points, and I'm going to give you 20 seconds to do it in. If you don't, I wouldn't ride home in the car with your family. Good luck. We ask a hundred people these questions. Name, which magazine would you hate for your child to pick up at a newsstand? Playboy. Try again. Hustler. An occupation that deals with the ocean. Oceanography. Try again. Uh, uh, pass. How many times per day you open the refrigerator door? Twenty. Try again. Eighteen. Something kids love to eat at the circus. Cotton candy. A book that lists things alphabetically. Uh, Try too late at the buzzer, turn around. You got three of the five and you need 19. Come here. I was kidding you, but believe you me, I'll give you a ride home if you don't do it. Which magazine would you hate for your child to pick up at a newsstand, you said? Hustler, oh, I hope 19 people said it. What did the survey say? 16. Thank goodness for Hustler. Playboy was the number one answer. An occupation that deals with the ocean, you passed. Playboy was number one on the first one. Fisherman, you should have said. How many times per day you open the refrigerator door, you chose. A very nice number of 18. Did three people say it for seven grand? What did the survey say? Oh, man, Ten times a day was number one. Something kids love to eat at the circus, you said. Cotton candy, oh please. Did three people say it? For the bank, survey said. Yeah! You got the Dictionary number one for alphabetical books. Ten times 
Opening refrigerator door, cotton candy, number one at the circus. We're coming right back. Woo, don't go away. Know-it-alls on Jeopardy coming. See if the Blackmans can top the $12,390 on our next show. Bye-bye. Feeling lost? Confused? Totally puzzled? Then you're probably playing Camouflage. Tonight at 7, 6 central, only on GSN.